Good morning guys, it is Jonathan with One Big Impact and it is also day one of the 30 day One Big Impact weight loss challenge. So congratulations and welcome. It's like three o'clock in the morning over here in Arizona and I'm getting ready to go train clients. Today's video is actually how long do I stay in the phases of Atkins and I apologize, I know it's dark, but I'm doing my best. So if you're new here, please check out our Facebook group, Healthy Living for a Healthy Life, and also like, share, comment, and subscribe. So, the biggest thing that a lot of people need to know is if you have a significant amount of weight to lose, the best option for you is going to be probably anything over 20, 30 pounds. I would say start with induction phase. That's where you're going to basically get to a point to where you are burning carbohydrates but more importantly, a point where you are starting to lose weight pretty fast, so it kind of helps you gain momentum in your journey, excuse me, and move forward on exactly what you're doing without getting discouraged. Sometimes people, uh, if it takes people too long to lose a pound or two, it's just discouraging and it can be diff difficult for them to stay on track. And I got the hiccups, and that's great really so the biggest thing that you have to remember is induction phase works really well and I know a lot of people that have stayed in it for ever I stayed in it for nine months with no problems whatsoever and I felt actually probably the best I had ever felt in my life it's recommended that you stay in from a, for about two weeks and usually you'll drop a significant amount of weight within that two weeks after that point, um, you can stay in there as long as up to six months, they say. So from two weeks to six months, you're gonna lose a significant amount of weight. Now remember, if you are a person that has 100 pounds or anything to lose, you may have to do different things and uh, you just have to understand that your process is gonna be a lot longer and there's a lot of different things that you can go about doing. The next process, or the next, the next stage would be slowly back, adding back in your carbohydrates. Now you can stay in this phase as long as you want. Um, you're trying to get to like 40 grams of carbohydrates. Uh, the, the idea here is slowly adding back in the carbohydrates to be able to find like uh, a good balance to where you're still losing weight, but you're able to get a little bit more carbohydrates into your system. Now, I will say the next phase, uh, that phase, you can stay there pretty much as long as you want. Um, get it up to 40, and as long as you continue to lose weight, once you get to about uh, 10 to 15 pounds out from your goal weight, I would go ahead and switch to the next phase, which is basically like finding your absolute carbohydrate balance. So you're bringing your carbs up by five or 10 grams per week, uh, as far as the time frame for that second one, I'd say probably a couple months would be sufficient. Now these are all numbers based on maybe you got like 30 or 40 pounds to lose. If it's more or less than that, these numbers could change, but these are just basic outlines. The third one, when you are trying to find that balance and you put it on uh, your ongoing weight loss, I'm sorry, ongoing weight loss is going to be last. I'm driving and this person is acting really erratic in the front of me. Thank goodness they pulled off. But um, that third phase, you want to add 10 grams per three or four days and find out kind of what works best for you. You're going to see trigger foods. Some foods are going to spike your weight way up. Now, when you are bringing your carbohydrates up and up and up, you have to be really, really mindful about eating every couple hours and not going extended periods of time without having a meal. Because uh, you are going to be raising your blood sugar more, you're going to be eating more carbohydrates, uh, a very real thing is going to be that you are going to have more cravings. Um, you're no longer going to be burning fat so much as fuel as you are carbohydrates. So you're switching kind of slowly back to 
what works best for you. Now, what you have to remember is the difference between Atkins and keto is Atkins, you are going to slowly bring back those carbohydrates to make it more of like a long-term success. Many people confuse Atkins as something that never brings carbohydrates back into your life. And it's not, it's actually the complete opposite. Um, you actually find out what works best for you and uh, you get there eventually over time. We're at the gym, good morning. So I think the biggest thing that you need, need to do at this point is work on the self-discipline, work on what is working for you, what is not working for you, and kind of make sure that um, you spend enough time there. Don't be so much in a rush about these time frames, going to the next phase, going to the next phase. If, I think my client just pulled up. If you find yourself in a position, by the way, the exercise is 10 push-ups. That's the magic thing, 10 push-ups today. If you find yourself in this phase where you're struggling too much, back it off a little bit. If you're gaining weight, if your cravings are wild, back it off, it's okay. Because the next phase is literally going to be the rest of your life. And you're gonna find out maybe you're at 100 carbs, maybe you can take 50 carbs. Um, you're gonna find a good balance for your calories. You're gonna find a good balance for, you know, maybe days you can go out to eat, maybe days you can't go out to eat. So just keep that in mind. You guys, I hope this video helped you. If you have questions, please put them in the comment section below. Remember to be stronger than your excuses. Spread love, not hate. Drink your damn water. Wish me luck on the gym. Have a beautiful day. Keep up the good work. Remember, 10 push-ups. I need proof of them today. Good luck on the challenge.